Hello, my name is Mark Simpson. I'm the owner of the River Dart Country Park here at Ashburton in Devon. This hydro was installed in January 07 and was finally commissioned at Easter. The first hydro scheme here was built in the 1920s and was a small DC current system which powered the house which was then a private residence. That fell into disrepair when mains electricity reached the property. My father in the early 80s installed a Kaplan type turbine but it seemed to have a lot of design faults and there were quite a few problems with that system and that fell into disrepair in the late 90s. I took the decision in 2005 to try and get the old Kaplan refurbished and had various people come down and look at it, none of whom could give me a satisfactory assurance that it would work well. And coincidentally at that time, I was made aware of the Archimedes screw. After a visit to Germany to see one working out there, we obtained the necessary consents and proceeded to install the Archimedes screw you see behind me. The installation process was relatively easy. We were fortunate enough to have the existing leet and the existing power cable in place from the previous installation. It involved excavating a fair bit of soil and rock and the basic construction was pouring lots of concrete to extend the channel for where the screw was going to fit and that whole system worked very well indeed. It was fascinating watching the screw being lowered into position with the big crane and again we were fortunate that access was relatively easy to get the big machinery here on site. The shed which houses the gearbox and the generator was the last bit of construction which went very well indeed. The whole concept from its early stages to completion took approximately 18 months. I was very grateful for financial assistance from the Dartmoor Sustainable Development Fund and also the Carbon Trust. All I can say is that the screw suits this environment so well, particularly given the vagaries of the River Dart and how it fluctuates in river level and the way that the screw copes with the debris and leaves which were a problem with the old Kaplan type system. So in all I, I'm actually very impressed with the whole setup. The hydrodynamic screw produces a maximum of 48 kilowatts. It is dependent upon the water in the river. We have been running through the summer at pretty near full capacity at you know, 45, 48 kilowatts. During the dry spell in September and October, it did drop down to 35 kilowatts, purely because of the limited volume of water we could take out of the river and down the lead. The power output is more than I actually budgeted for or envisaged in the planning stages and I'm delighted at how well the whole scheme has come together. There is enough power to supply the main house, Home Park House, which is used as a wedding venue and conference centre, along with the associated buildings of a cafe bar and two bungalows. And any surplus we do export to the grid. The River Dart is a protected river in terms of the migratory salmon and sea trout. The Environment Agency did have concerns over the passage of fish through the screw. We are fortunate that various tests conducted by a marine biologist, Pete Kibble, have proven without a shadow of doubt that the Archimedes screws are extremely fish friendly and that no damage can occur to migrating fish. We are open to the public here. We have approximately 25,000 day visitors during the summer and up to a thousand people staying on site each night. The feedback has been incredible from visitors and campers alike. It certainly is a very impressive piece of machinery that the residents and 
everyone who sees it just thinks it's absolutely marvellous. On a personal note, it's very nice to be able to generate renewable energy in such a wonderful location within the Dartmoor National Park and reduce the impact that my company and the visitors here have on the environment and from that point of view it has certainly been a very worthwhile project.